All right, students, welcome back. We are going to go through scientific notation today. Scientific notation. All right, first we should probably define what scientific notation is. And it's a way of managing. Very big. Or very small numbers. Ooh, that does not look good. Small numbers. So very big or very small numbers. All right. So it's a way of managing them. So we don't have to write out a ton of zeros. This actually came about uh, when they were using type uh, sets to set up um, printing presses and think about how many times they did that. So this is actually where that started. Um, but that's another story for another day, right? Okay. So here's our steps. Pretty simple. We're going to move the decimal. So we're going to have only one number on the left side of the decimal. Only one number, one number, zero through nine. All right, actually it should be one through nine. Let's say one number between one and nine. Only one number on the left side of that decimal. If you move the decimal left, it was a big number, our exponent is gonna be positive. If we move the decimal right, our exponent is going to be negative. All right, so we're gonna go through the examples of how to put it in scientific notation. Then we'll work on the reversing in a second. So let's start here with one million, all right? Our goal is to get the decimal to be um, on the left side of only one number. So if we look here, currently our decimal is right here at the end of that number. And we want to move the decimal all the way over here. So we only have one on the left side of the decimal. It would be like one decimal, right? And then however many spots we moved it, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to say times 10 to the sixth because we moved it six places to the left. All right, let's try kind of going to the right this time. So again, we're trying to get the decimal to be between 4 and 5. So we're going to have 4.5. And our goal is to get it all the way from there to here. How many spots did we move it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then there's 7. So times 10 to the negative 7th because we moved it to the right. On this spacing here, all right, I put the space there because sometimes when you get a whole bunch of zeros, it's a little tough to see. So I try to give you a little chance to see it there. All right. Let's do one more example. This one's a little bigger, so it's going to require a little more counting. All right. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we've got two more. So that's cool. So here's our decimal currently, and we want it all the way over here. So we've got 2.5 times 10 to the, and I'm going to count by threes, three, six, nine, twelve. And then 13, so times 10 to the 13. Is my 13 a little rough to read there? Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. All right. 13, okay? Awesome. Let's try this one. All right, same thing. Trying to get the decimal here. So we only have one number on the left side of the decimal, 7.6 times 10 to the 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to say negative 11th. Awesome. Let's flip over here. Now reversing it. How do we take it out? We kind of just reverse it. So if we have a positive here, we're going to move the decimal. That's not cool to draw that arrow like that. If we have a positive number, we're going to move the decimal to the right. Making it a big one, right? Move decimal to right. If we have a negative one, like right there, we're going to move the decimal to the left. And all we have to do is just listen to whatever our number says. Okay, so let's look at that first one. We have four, so we're gonna move the decimal four places to the right. One, two, three, four. So now we're gonna fill in those with zeros. They're gonna be placeholder zeros. So we have 38,000. Notice we just put zeros right there. All right, cool, awesome. Now let's try the reverse one. So this time it's negative, so we're going to move it to the left, and we're moving it to the left, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to put zeros in all that spot. So that should be one, two, three, four, five zeros. And then five, six. We should include all the number, all the number. This repeats, not just two, all of them. Okay, awesome. Thanks. See you next time.